thanks for dropping in. This is our first video for 2022, and I'm kicking off the new year with a giant 3D printed counter mechanism. I'm easily motivated by maintaining streaks, so for me, this counter is the perfect way to keep New Year's resolutions on track. Like the smaller prototypes I designed last year, this device uses a simple carryover mechanism. When one wheel reaches nine, two gear teeth built into this outer ring catch a carryover gear. And that translates the movement over to the next wheel, advancing it by one digit. But this isn't just a scaled up copy of those older designs. No, this project makes use of my constantly growing collection of empty filament spools. Each giant rolling digit is just one empty filament spool with a few relatively small 3D printed parts. And that leads to a giant counter with very little filament. That's not the only difference. The original counter mechanism relied on threaded M3 rod to hold everything together. That's great, but it worked a little bit too well. The threads made it nearly impossible to take the mechanism apart, and that was a huge pain. Threaded rod is also pretty expensive, and I doubt I'd find anything long enough to match a counter of this scale. So this design uses 2.5 millimeter smooth rod, which is far easier to obtain. Not only is smooth rod cheaper, it allows each digit assembly to slide back and forth. Once the mechanism between each assembly is disconnected, you can manually set the value for that wheel and then slide it back into place. Okay, but if these wheels are sliding everywhere, what's even holding the device in place? Well, for that, I'm using a scrap of TPU filament as an elastic band. The TPU runs all the way through the core of the counter, then back around, and then it's tied into a small knot. The end result is rigid enough to be held together, but still flexible enough that you can slide parts around when needed. To save filament, the numbers on the wheel are printed as separate parts rather than one giant ring. To make these numbers really pop, I started with a matte black filament and then switched to a bright white for the top layers. Gluing in each digit did take some time and a little bit of patience, but I think the end result looks great. I used the paper template to position all the numbers in the right spot for the first wheel. That template will be provided with this project. After I finished that first wheel though, I went ahead and used that as a guide for all subsequent wheels. Let's talk about these empty filament spools. The vast majority of my spool pile is from Hatchbox filament, so that's what I designed this project for. These spools have a center hole, which is 55 millimeters in diameter. The overall width of the spool is about 67 millimeters wide, and the internal width between these two walls is about 61 millimeters. All these dimensions have a little bit of flex to them because the walls themselves bend. If you have any spools that match this, this design should work for you as is. But not all spools are the same size. You may need to use some creative scaling to fit this core inside differently sized spools. There's also some spools that simply won't work. If the hole in your spool doesn't have a flat wall, that's going to be a problem and mini spools are also a no-go. While resizing your parts, you may need to use non-uniform scaling. That is, you may need to stretch in one direction while keeping other dimensions the same. If you do this, make sure you're consistent between your parts. That's right, use non-uniform scaling uniformly. As you can tell from my struggles to film this, this huge counter is not very desk friendly. So I've designed a wall stand for it. Just pick a wall, or if you're indecisive like me, some scrap board, and screw in both of these holders. And it just slides in like that. The current number is the forward most row, but it's really not that clear which row that is. So this holder probably isn't the final form. I'm probably going to look into something that adds a 3D printed piece on the front. I'm also looking into turning this into a clock, but that's a huge project and one for another day. This kind of works a little bit better counting down than counting up. So if I were to build this again, I'd actually reverse the order of the numbers. In the last video, I said I'd return with some New Year's resolutions for the 3D Printy channel. So here they are. First, I'm going to make two completely new puzzle designs 
and not just these twist lock boxes. I'm talking about real brain twisting puzzles, like ones that would rival the Barrel Cooper's puzzle box. Two or more resin projects. Did you know I have a resin printer? Of course not, because I unboxed it and haven't used it once. I need to fix that. Next, I'm going to migrate all of my projects currently on Thingiverse to both Thangs and Prusa printers. That should make it much easier to access my designs. And last but not least, I'm going to publish at least 30 videos in 2022. That's one project video every other Monday, and also the occasional bonus video that covers the design process, modeling techniques, printing tips, or other requests people have posted in the comments. So let me know what you'd like me to cover. It may become a topic in 2022. Until the next video, happy printing and thanks for stopping by.